Two years ago, a middle-aged woman tried to cross the tracks by crawling between the wagon wheels of a stationary goods train at Kansalim railway station. Midway to her horror, the train began to move and the woman ended up getting trapped below. Ironically, she lost her leg but her life was saved by onlooker who rushed her to the hospital. Today, the woman in the story is fine but spending a life without a leg. This is the way we have to do it. We have to do it in the government, we have to do it in the government. 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 अरे आप भी जीते आज ही बिरान दिस ना बन तुमका बिरान जिस तुम लोग करते हैं कि ऑप्शन ना नहीं हमको चेहरे तो ऑप्शन हमको बस पाजे अरे वो इलाज साधन का है ना वो ब्रिज ना वो कहे ना कैसे वो इतना हमें खर्च करने से वो इतना बस पाके रहे नहीं हाँ वो तो जैसे हम ची ट्रेडिशनल वे कशी हम जी दरिया बस प मुझे वारियाक वेराक सब लोग लोग इतना बुर्जी बाड़ा डांटा सब लोग इतना अतः हैं ब्रॉड गेज के लिए कहते हैं ये हाइट हुई वाड़े ही ले तो कल वो नाम पे खूब तरह से था नहीं रेलवे थामले नहीं टिकेन ना हुई इतने हज़ार कहीं भरोसा ना तो ऑप्शन मटे के कौन चाहे ना तो स्पाइज तो कल वो नाम खरीद के दोनों जी क्रॉस कर चुका है अत वही समझ कौन करे व्हीकल ह नुपन ये ये जो आप ये कितने वराशे उभी वरस्ता हैं कहाँ ही लिमिट ना एक एक बार रात रात भर रस्ता उड़ी विसाचाई ले ले आता कोई कितने वेल डाले या सा कहीं सांगों शकना मैं ये बहुत वाट बस पर वो क्रॉस कर पाई हिट वाट और शाम के गेटी वाइला तो कितने लोग पैसा दो पैसा दो अड़ीस किलोमीटर तो फ यंग एज जा सकता है इधर स्कूल और ऑफिसेस जानते हो लोगों को बाजार करता हुआ बाजार हम सो हम तो अंडर ऐसा चीज मांगड़ी आने दी कोई नहीं ऐसा आपको इस चीज़ को संगले हम जो सरपंच यार तो नहीं सगड़े नहीं संगले रेलवे क्या तो कंसीडर करता कि तेरे तेरे डिपेंड्स है सा हम इसका शेयर करते हैं वन they have no other access. So they have to cross under him, <coughs> the wagons. There was one casualty. Uh, one lady was crossing. She didn't know. Suddenly the train, uh, the goods train started. And her leg got cut. Do you think that it is a need of the hour for the people to have some more bridge or? Yeah, if it is under bridge, People will be very happy when your last statement also came. They asked me so many people, when it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. I told them I have already shown that to their engineers. <laughs> they came, they saw. Uh, then they said, uh, okay, we'll see the feasibility. We'll report, we'll see how much it's going to be the cost. And let us know. But last 10 years, nothing will happen. Yeah, not 10 years. The bridge proposed a shell law. Then some people said they don't want a over bridge. They want under bridge. Because over bridge, old people and all will not be able to cross. Because the height will be there. So under bridge. Then we took resolution. We showed them the place <coughs> where it is feasible. But uh, nobody, 10 years, more than 10 years has passed. Still nothing has been done. The railway department any has uh, positive response given? Hmm? Railway department doesn't give response? No. They just saw that they, they didn't reply anything. They sent the letter to then uh, MP also. Because it is MP who has to meet the railway minister and get the work done. In the 90s, they converted the narrow gauge to a, uh, a broad gauge. And this was done without taking the people, you know, into confidence. No infrastructure was uh, provided. Today we have uh, about uh, 13 to 14 uh, goods trains passing through this area. And uh, some of these trains are parked at the Kansalim railway station, which now the railways are calling it the Kansalim yard. We don't understand what the term yard means. Is it for the parking of trains? 
uh, in the future, as it's being done now, every time of the day you go and see, you see it, you pass by that area, you see trains parked permanently for hours together. Uh, and people are seen, students, young and old, are seen crossing, you know, crawling below that, uh, the wagons. There had been an incident two years back when a, a, a woman, she was a vendor, you know, making out her living, uh, selling uh, coconuts and stuff like that. She was uh, herself crawling and unfortunately the train, the engine started off and she lost her limbs. Uh, this, people are risking their lives like this on, on, on a daily basis. And the appeal of the local panchayats and uh, and other bodies, the NGOs have fallen on deaf ears. Today, the government is is pushing forward, you know, and th even threatening the villages with a double tracking, a, a project which will spell doom to our uh, villages. And they see that they can invest in thousands of crores for their uh, so-called infrastructure in the uh, supposed to be the national interest when they don't have the interest of the very villages that these uh, trains pass by. So how can we as villagers believe this government?